But in today's video, we talking about these. The Nike LeBron 21 Aragonite, truly one of the best colorways. And as I said in my Concoiling review, the releases just keep getting better and better. This LeBron 21 is truly impressive. It comes in Jade Ice, Emma Rise, Platinum Violet, Terror Blush as the color scheme. I'm loving the denim upper. A lot of people like it, but some people do not. Let me know if you are a fan of a denim upper on a basketball shoe. This is definitely one of those shoes you can wear for casual or of course on the court because that's what LeBron does. He wears these on the court. Outsole is definitely impressive with the traction pattern. And as you know, all the specs are the same for all LeBron 21s. They haven't switched it up yet. So I don't really talk about the tech too much because I've talked about it previously. But yes, indeed, this has the air zoom cushioning as well as the streamlined cable system underneath this upper material. And I know I said these are best for indoor use. These do have durable rubber outsoles that provides essential traction for outdoor courts as well. But if you wear them on indoor courts, you're gonna be stuck to the ground like crazy, stopping on a dime. But these do hold up well outside on the outdoor courts. This LeBron 21 Aragonite already made its debut in Korea, but they officially dropped on February 8th. So you guys get an early look at these. I did talk about them in one of my recent vlogs as well, but you guys can stay tuned for Nike.com and maybe some stores will also have them. I know I found these at WSS. I don't know if you have a WSS in your location. So if you don't, just looking forward to seeing these at Foot Locker and stores like that, definitely on Nike.com on February 8th. They do retail for 200 bucks. No difference in the price point, even though they're using different materials on the upper. So in case you were wondering about the sizing, these are definitely a true to size sneaker if you wear regular socks. What I mean by that, sometimes the Nike Elite socks are a little thicker, so you might want to consider going up at least a half a size. I'm wearing thinner socks and I'm wearing these for casual wear only, so I can go true to size on them, but it's kind of a snug one of one true to size. So just keep that in mind. Like I said before, it's always good to try the shoes on in store before you leave with them because you just never know. There used to be a point where you could just get the same shoe every time, tell them the size, grab it and go. But the shoes change so much, especially with the different materials used. This has denim. I don't know if that really will take effect for you. Uh, some materials more stretchy, some of it's not. I would assume this denim's not. But getting to the shoe, man, just getting a little more personal talking about this thing, it's truly a head turner and the color combination is just wild. You know, you can wear these with some denim jeans, track, tech fleece, of course, all that stuff, shorts, of course, uh, a denim material on a, on a LeBron. Usually when they do them on a Jordan, it kind of works depending on the silhouette. The Jordan 1 denims, not so much. Maybe the ones that drop in 2024 might be better, but to see a denim material on a basketball shoe is just something I don't recall seeing. Let me know the last basketball shoe had denim material, which is the last basketball shoe that had some denim material on them. The Jordan 4s technically is a basketball shoe, but people definitely wore those for casual wear. This might be one of them shoes that steps into the ranks of casual wear as opposed to hooping. Maybe if not now, down the road, because the aesthetics of them are just on point. The color combinations are fire. And rocking these with some jeans that you guys will see in the video a little bit later, they definitely go together. They have the distressed, distressed denim on the upper. You got a few preparations also for breathability, even though I'm not sure how much breathability will come from the side panels. Uh, but I'm sure breathability, of course, will come through the mesh tongues. You guys, I don't know if I have an angle to show you that. But you can see the light shining through the shoe, which lets you know that the tongue, as on all LeBron 21s, has a lot of ventilation coming from the tongue. Not so much on the perforations on the side because there's a layer over the hole. You know what I mean? So it makes it a little bit more difficult for air to escape. But like I said before, man, the uh, the gold accents on the shoe, you got the gold Dubre and the gold eyelids by the two top uh, Dubrays, of course. I'm saying the same thing, but you get what I'm saying. This shoe right here is nice. You got the hint of suede on the tongue as well as the back panel here on the tab and right here, all suede. This color combination is a 10 out of 10. I know I give, I'm not trying to be too generous, but the color combination is dope. Once you see it in person, you might like it even more than, or you might like it less. Sometimes the denim might be different on shoes. I feel like on the difference of the wets, all the denim patterns are the same. I've seen that plenty of times on Jordans where some Jordans with the denim is lighter. Some of them are darker. The pattern might be different. I feel like they're all consistent on the LeBron 21, 
aragonite but if you guys have them or seen them in different patterns on the denim go ahead and send me some pictures on discord or on my instagram of course all that's in the description box below speaking of in the description box below you guys can join my retail reserve if you guys need help picking up shoes that i grab a little early if you need help getting them they don't come in your area go ahead and sign up through my youtube membership which is the sneaker reserve tier or the link in the description to join my membership through my discord but back to the shoes man these are definitely on point we got some more b-roll for you plus the on feet these are definitely impressive give me your thoughts about the lebron 21 aragonite I do like the medial side of the shoe. I think that is pretty dope too. You have that blue or that jade with that denim or gold right around it, trimming the, the Nike swoosh. I love how they executed this one. Some people I've already heard tell me that they are not a fan of the distressed look. They feel like these snags is something that might catch on certain things. Let me know how you guys feel about the denim material upper. I'll give you some more visuals to see that they do have you know, distressed look all over them. I think that adds a touch of flavor and style to the shoe, but everybody thinks different. That's why I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's go ahead and see what these look like on feet. Subscribe to your boy Bosco. We've been going every day since November 1st. That's a lot of days in a row. We're trying to get to 50K ASAP. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. You dig? Perfect. Now that you have seen the review of the LeBron 21 Aragonite, let me know if this is something that you're looking forward to adding to your collection. Also, man, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. And I also have a few other channels here on YouTube. If you're not familiar, you guys can go ahead and check out Bosco 2.0. We'll be linked in the description box. That's where you'll find out the latest news on sneaker releases. Then you can also head over to Bosco Live Therapy, where I do reactions and live streams and get more in depth with you guys. Not so much just only sneakers, but sneakers and everything else. Also, check out Bobby Thrift as I go to different discount stores to find and show you guys where the deals are at as we will start uploading heavy on that channel as well. But tune in to your boy Bosco. I'm about to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Best handles, yeah. Man, Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What?